Clay, or Command Line Artificial Intelligence, is an open source platform that brings the latest in AI technologies to the command line terminal. Clay can help with use cases such as troubleshooting, automation, and natural language. For troubleshooting, Clay uses the latest in information retrieval and AI technology to bring relevant information to the user's current context. Clay can also automate repetitive and menial tasks on the command line by automating them with the help of AI technologies such as AI planning. Finally, Clay can translate from a natural language such as English to arcane and hard to remember shell commands on the terminal. Clay is made up of AI skills that are orchestrated in a common layer. It also comes with an API that allows AI researchers and practitioners to build new skills to address new and unique use cases and to deliver the best experience for an end user of the terminal. The Clay API converts the command line into the classic AI agent architecture, where the bash terminal is the environment that the agent must now interact with. Clay is open source and you can download it and find all information on Clay's website, ibm.biz slash clay dash home. Let us navigate to the website. On the Clay landing page, there is a readme that links to various useful links to do with the Clay platform. If you look around the page, the first such link is the NLC to CMD competition, which is being run in concurrence with the NeurIPS 2020 conference. The NLC to CMD competition seeks to create a new state of the art in the translation of English to the command line. It also seeks to collect challenging data to test these new AI systems. You can contribute today by going to ibm.biz slash NLC to CMD. You can also find the link on the main Clay homepage. On the homepage, there is also a link to the Clay API. Clicking on this takes you to a catalog that lists the currently active AI skills as well as a readme for the Clay API. If you are a researcher looking to develop and contribute new skills, please visit this page. Of particular note in the API documentation are how to build a specific skill and the co components that are required for that, as well as specifically the state and action objects, which should be familiar to all AI researchers. These provide methods that convert the command line terminal into a typical AI environment for input and output purposes. The full list of currently active Clay AI skills is displayed here. You can also find this and the Clay API at ibm.biz slash clay dash skills. The URL is displayed on the screen. In addition to the skills, Clay uses machine learning to orchestrate the different skills and their results as well. There are three modes of orchestration as shown here. These take into account the confidences returned by the various skills, as well as the preferences of the end users of the terminal, if any. This helps Clay personalize the output of the various skills to the liking of specific users and how users use their terminal. We will now dive a bit deeper into a few clay skills. First up, the NLC to CMD skill, which converts a user's natural language invocation or goal into a command that can be executed on the terminal. Currently, this skill makes a call to the Telina tool, which is the state of the art in general natural language to bash translation. The NeurIPS NLC to CMD challenge, which we talked about earlier, seeks to establish a better baseline, as well as to collect new and challenging data that will challenge and try to beat the current state of the art. Another clay skill that falls into the category of troubleshooting is on-premise support, which brings troubleshooting information directly to the user's terminal by matching their queries or errors with information from the internet. This alleviates the need for the user to go out of the context of their terminal when they are seeking help. This skill is a collection of different data sources, including Stack Exchange, Stack Overflow, the man pages, which are available on most Linux distributions, as well as any other documentation that might be available 
for user troubleshooting. This skill can also be used to increase user expertise over time in a pedagogical sense. Automation is yet another use case that is handled by Clay. In this case, the Clay automation skill helps in automating the deployment of code and applications to the cloud by automating the deployment commands. The user just has to specify a high level, for example, uh, push this to the cloud, and Clay uses an AI planner in the back end to find a plan for such a deployment and then to execute that plan. The current plan for this example can be seen on the right hand side of the screen. This is a plan that is generated by Clay by using an AI planner in order to fulfill the user's high level goal of deploying something to the cloud. Data science use cases are of particular relevance to the command line. For this, we have introduced the Data Explore skill, which tries to help data analysts and data scientists by giving them a preview of the data they are interacting with. This preview comes in one of two modes, summarization, which provides a summary of the data itself, and plot, which displays a summary uh, of the data. These will help the data scientist on the command line to preview their data and to determine which algorithms and techniques must be used in order to extract decisions and analytics from that data. To conclude our tour of selected skills, we will look at Gitbot, which enables an interface to Git repositories from the command line using natural language. This alleviates the need for the user to remember complicated Git commands and their sequencing, and reduces the chance that the end user will need to seek support when interacting with Git repositories. An important point to note here is that all of the skills are delivered via the same terminal and life on that terminal remains unchanged otherwise. This is important since we want users to retain the look, feel and experience of the CLI that they love and understand. We feel that this is crucial to the adoption of any tool and platform like Clay. The motivation behind Clay is the realization that the command line is enjoying a period of renewed resurgence. CLIs are fast and extremely powerful and are increasingly central to any number of computing tasks, particularly with the ongoing transition of most systems to a cloud-based paradigm. Community source support for the command line is woefully inadequate and tends to scale poorly. It is here that the promise of AI delivers. The reasons that community source support does not work are in fact the same reasons that can be used to make a system like Clay, which depends on the latest in AI, ML and NLP technologies to stand out. Some of these reasons, including an unhealthy expert to newbie ratio, simple questions, duplicate posts, incomplete information, and continuously updating tools and platforms are things that we all face on an everyday basis. Clay offers on-premise, immediate, and personalized support for all of these issues. We welcome you to try out Clay at ibm.biz slash clay home and to build new skills using our API. We also encourage you to contribute data to the ongoing NeurIPS 2020 challenge. You can also Visit the website in order to look at entry requirements. And finally, you can join the Clay community at our Slack channel, the link to which is available. Thank you.